right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous summer night here in the end times. It would be Wednesday, July 6, 2022, and I think about, good God, 15 of you have sent me <clears throat> the saddest news in the Doomosphere. Uh, a few of you who have not heard this, living under a stone, uh, we have some very sad news in the Doomosphere tonight. The, the single greatest proclamation in the history of humanity has been fucking destroyed by some goddamn redneck. What a fucking surprise. Some fucking Trump tard conspiracy wacko QAnon asshole down in my home state, the great state of Georgia, has blown up the Georgia Guidestones. Uh, I have had many rants about the Georgia Guidestones. I uh, finally, thank God, got to visit them for the first and only time in my life back in November. My buddy John and I, we went over there and to see the Georgia Guidestones and uh, salute them. <clears throat> but the Guidestones are no more. They were, uh, I, I'm still trying to figure out. I, I, I mean, I'm, there, there's like 10 fucking news stories and none of them, uh, since none of them were written by a doomer, uh, are explaining what the fuck really went down there. It was uh, the the one fact that seems to be agreed upon, at least by all of these articles in the mainstream media, I guess it was in the middle of the night last night, about 4 o'clock in the morning this morning, some fucking Yahoo went out there apparently with uh, dynamite and blew up one of the guide signs. There were four of these guide signs. You know, they were placed at the cardinal directions. It was sometimes have been described as the American Stonehenge. I am assuming that the fucking redneck blew up the English translations of what there were. There were four of these giant slabs of granite with the Ten Commandments for Humanity. Uh, they were put up there in 1980. Um, so there were four slabs of granite and on each side in a different language were the Ten Doomer Commandments. It was the... It, it was the... It, you know, I mean, what, what would it be for Doomers, the Georgia Guidestones? Uh, it was the Mecca for Doomers, for people who understand what is going on on this fucking planet and what we fucking need to do about it. Uh, so, on these Ten Commandments were written in eight different languages, English obviously being one of them. So one side of one stone was in English. I am assuming that the motherfucking redneck who blew this, uh, who blew this thing up uh, blew up the, the one that had the English translation on it. But in not one of these stories do they give this detail or not. And, and the reason that this is an important detail is so anyway, so this fucking redneck goes in there at 4 o'clock this morning. This is for all of you uh, truthers from the, you know, from 9-11. You might uh, recognize a little bit of this. So they blow up the fucking one of the four guide stones, assuming the one that's in English. But, but who knows? It might not have even been the fucking one in English, knowing the fucking IQ of these fucking rednecks down there in Georgia. So anyway... So that happens at four o'clock in the morning, and eight hours later, this is also what has never been explained in the mainstream media. 
who exactly it was who came in there. What, I don't know if it was the state of Georgia, if it was the county, but they declared that the other three guide stones, which were not, you could see the goddamn photos, which were not affected one bit, so the fucking government, whoever that is, came in to a crime scene, and what do you think they did? They blew up the other three! There was nothing wrong with the other three. So three of the four guide stones, make no mistake about what it is, was torn down by, by some fucking redneck government agency down there in Georgia. This is the reason I don't live in fucking Georgia anymore. I mean, the only thing uh, that made me proud to be a Georgian was the fucking Georgia guide stones, and now they're gone. So, so this fucking redneck goes in there and blows up one of them, and, and then the, the, this, this completely mysterious government agency, hours later, goes into this fucking crime scene and fucking blows up the rest of them. And uh, you, you better believe that uh, people have been licking their chops to do this. You know, several of these stories, all kinds of stories on the mainstream media that, uh, that you know, Twitter uh, in the tweetosphere that this people are cheering on the motherfucker who blew these things up. And, uh, I mean, it's a sad fucking day. Uh, it, it, this is a hell of a lot, uh, Saturday, and then the fucking Roe versus Wade going down. And I'm not joking, I'm not exaggerating. If you're a fucking doomer, if you're a fucking eco-Nazi with some fucking balls, you will understand this is a bigger story than Roe versus Wade. You know we're fucked, people. Anybody with a goddamn brain uh, understanding what, what's wrong with this fucking planet and uh, what we're supposed to be doing about it. Uh, I, I mean, these were the greatest words of wisdom ever. It's right there in your fucking face on a, uh, on a slab of granite uh, out in the middle of some redneck county in the middle of fucking Georgia. I mean, how the hell? I still think it was Ted Turner. I still think it was Ted Turner. So, you know, the, the usual suspects, the fucking Alex Jones gang and, and, and all of those. And, uh, and so, the, of course, the big rumor, I, I'm not even going to give this fucking cunt in any fucking, uh, I'm not even going to mention this fucking cunt's name. She was running for governor. Some little, uh, you know, she made uh, that that Mar what's that what's that bitch's name Marjorie Taylor Green, uh, whoever that shit that 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 bag of shit uh, down there from Georgia made her look like a fucking limp dick lefty. Okay, so what the what this bitch what she was talking about on, on her on her gubernatorial platform is one of the things she was going to do if she was elected governor was blow up the fucking Georgia Guidestones. Well, she came in so the election was May 24th. She came in third on May 24th, and, and here we are on uh, July 6th, uh, uh, the Georgia Guidestones get blown up. And uh, for the record, nobody is saying whoever this fucking, uh, this fucking clueless cunt is that she was the one who did it. Obviously, that bitch didn't go out there and do it, but you know, it, it was one of her fucking henchmen or one of her, you know, head up their ass, clueless fucking moron followers uh, who did this shit. Anyway, guys, we're fucked. We really are fucked. We're fucked. So anyway, we're going to get a fond farewell. So what is it that, that has these fucking... A conspiracy wackos panties in such a fucking wide uh, 
what do the Georgia Guidestones actually say? Well, what did they actually say? Not what do they say. They don't say shit now because they're a pile of fucking rubble as people all around the fucking planet are cheering the pile of rubble. Of course, it's the first one. Uh, these goddamn deep New World Order depopulation agenda. This is, of course, uh, the big one. Quote, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Now, of course, I think 500 million is 500 million too many, but 500 million is a good start. And so, of course, this is where, th this is 90% of it. Uh, is, is this, what the fuck does the word maintain? When, when these things were erected in 1980, the population of the planet, I'm guessing, I would, would someone do, look this up? I should have looked this up. I'm guessing in 1980, three and a half to four billion people, about one half what it is now. So this word maintain, if you maintain humanity under 500 million, how do you get the population from what was then one half of what the population is now down to 500 million? And this is where the goddamn Alex Jones crowd comes in. These clueless fucking morons, you know, holding up the Georgia Guidestones as the fucking blueprint for the non-existent mythical New World Order depopulation agenda. Uh, now, maybe by 1980 economic standards, what was that, 42 years, maybe 42 years ago, uh, 500,000, I mean, 500 million people could have lived in perpetual balance with nature. But now, of course, we have twice as many people on the fucking planet as we did when, when they put the Guidestones up. Uh, it, 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 anyway, so that is the one. You know, that's what it's all about. But then the second one, this is where this fucking uh, absolute unadulterated fucking horseshit eugenics uh, that anybody talking about overpopulation is a eugenicist. These people have no fucking clue what the word eugenics means. They have no fucking clue what it means. So the second commandment, guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. That, that is uh, improving diversity it is 180 degrees opposite of eugenics. Okay, and improving fitness, yeah. Uh, uh, Hella fucking Luya. Anyway, I, I, I wonder where the goddamn obesity rates on this fucking planet of fat ass, clueless fucking morons has gotten to uh, guide reproduction wisely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then they have the ones in the middle, uh, which are, you know, just, just, just kind of adding fuel to the New World Order uh, fire, the, the conspiracy wacko fire. Unite humanity with a living new language. Eh, rule passion, faith, and tradition, and all things with tempered reason. There you, there you go. Rule passion with tempered reason. Uh, yeah, uh, getting blown up and, and then having some fucking redneck government agency ruling their passion 
with tempered reason. All right. Here's here's a uh, here, here's one. Uh, yeah, this sounds. I think that that fucking cunt whose name I'm not going to uh, mention. Uh, talking about that these were satanic. She used the word satanic. That if you supported the Georgia Guidestones, essentially you were a Satan worshiper. This sounds like a real satanic commandment. Protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Yes, protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. That sounds like real Satan worshiping to me. Here's let all nations rule internally, resolving extended disputes in a world court. And you better believe that got the fucking, oh Jesus, uh, there's fighting words to a fucking clueless moron uh, QAnon conspiracy wacko. Oh, uh, yeah. How about this one? Avoid petty laws and useless officials. <laughs> I think we should start with those useless officials who blew up the other three fucking guidestones. Uh, that sounds like real Satan worshiping. Avoid petty laws and useless officials. Oh, Jesus, don't get me going on that one. Here we go. Here, here's another satanic worshiping uh, commandment. Balance personal rights with social duties. There you go. I'm sure Satan would. Uh, Satan uh, is is a big uh, promoter of balancing personal rights with sacred duties. Number nine. Prize truth, beauty and love, seeking harmony with the infinite. There you go. That sounds like Satan to me. Yes, Satan is prizing truth, beauty, and love, seeking harmony with the infinite, going down in a pile of rubble, and then of course my, well, it's a toss-up for my number one uh, favorite. Is it the first one or the tenth one? The first one, of course, maintain humanity <laughs> under 500 million. Yes? Are you snorfling? All right, and number ten, be not a cancer on the earth. Hallelujah. Be not a cancer on on the earth, leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. The only commandment that's repeated twice. Leave room for our other 10 million fellow earthlings that fucking humans are, are, are taking out. Be not a cancer on the earth, which is exactly what fucking humans are. And I can't think of a bigger fucking cancer than that slime bag motherfucker who blew up the Georgia Guidestones. It wouldn't surprise me if, if, if it was somebody, you know, on this mysterious who, whoever this fucking uh, decision maker was, whoever made the call this morning, well... They blew up one of them, so we might as well blow up the other three. It's a safety issue. It's a safety issue. Them other three might fall on somebody and kill them. We gotta go blow up the other three. There is a fucking conspiracy theory going on here. You better fucking believe uh, there is a real live conspiracy. This was not a lone wolf. No fucking way. No fucking way uh, this was some fucking lone wolf uh, planning this out. Uh, pulling this shit off. Anyway, guys, uh, 
Let's raise the toast to the Georgia Guide Signs, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation is claiming they're going to have a thorough investigation of this crime and bring the perpetrators to justice. Uh, yeah, I'm sure the GBI is uh, putting this at the top of their list. But anyway, uh, what can I say? We are so fucked. Get out there and make your own version of the Georgia Guidestones while you still can. And uh, Ted Turner, <laughs> if you're the motherfucker who uh, put these, and I really do, and I honestly do believe it was Ted Turner, you know, my, my favorite billionaire with the five children, uh, <laughs> Captain Planet himself. Uh, Ted Turner, if, if you really were the one who pulled this off, brother, uh, uh, hallelujah, amen, Ted Turner, but I don't think you could have kept your big mouth fucking shut about it for all these years. Uh, there's no way. So that's, my, that's the main reason I doubt Ted Turner, because he could not have kept his mouth shut from bragging about it. But it's right up his alley, and he had the fucking money to pull it off. But anyway... <clears throat> All right, little dog. You were at the Georgia Guide Zones. I think you peed on the Georgia Guide Zones, as I recall. I think you might have even pooped on the Georgia Guide. Did you poop on the Georgia Guide Zones or not? So, did you poop on the Georgia Guide Zones? Bye, guys. No, we got to do this a very boring rant now.